In this lesson, we're going to learn about accessing keys and values inside of hash. Also, we're going to learn to use some useful methods in the hashes for Ruby. Now, let's take a look at the different ways of accessing the keys and values inside of hashes. We use our all new known hash reds character. I'll clear this screen. So, remember, okay, printed with awesome print. Okay, let's take a look to the first method. If we wanted to get a listing of different keys instead of our hash, we could use the keys method. So we type the name of our hash dot followed by the, the method. In this case, the method is keys. So it returns an array with the keys of our hash. Similarly, we have a method called key. If you send in a specific value, it will tell you which key that corresponds to. So how you can see, raise karate dot key, and I sent the value, the internet, and it returned location. We can also ask a hash if it has a certain key. I'm asking if it has a key address. And it doesn't. But if I asked if it had the key location, it should say true, and it does. We can also access the values inside of a hash using the method values. The values method will return an array of all of the different values inside of the hash. Similarly, we just like we asked the hash if it had a certain key, we can also ask if it had a certain value. So I'm asking if it has the value the internet and it returns truth. True. There are all the other methods that we can use. For example, if we want to check if race character hash is empty, we can use race character that empty. And oh, I type wrong the name of the hash character. And it says it's false because Risk Karate has items inside. I mean, key value pairs inside. However, we can create a new hash and ask if it's, it is empty. And it does. If we want to get a certain item out of this hash, we can use the delete method. We just have to, to, to pass the key as argument to the method. So let's say character that delete and we pass the key we want to delete in this case location uh, okay it delete it returned it so it means you can create a variable and it will get the value it returned but if we check uh, the hash again now we don't we just don't have this the hash the hash doesn't have the, the location key that we had before. If we wanted to clear the contents of a hash, let's say h that is hash, let's add a new value called something, something, blah blah. So now h, h has that value. Uh, if we wanted to get uh, to clear that hash, we can use the method clear. Now you can see H is now an empty array, an empty, I mean, an empty hash. We have also another method called two underscore A. Let's type it. We can say rates character dot two A. And it will convert our array, our hash, I mean, I'm confusing those words, sorry. It will convert our hash into an array. Now, as you can see, it's creating a new array inside of any, uh, inside of all the, the key value pairs. So here's the key and here's the value, here's the key and here's the value. And you can see it's opening brackets here. That's useful when we need to, to work with an array instead of a hash. If 
we check the contents again, race character was not modified, so it means 2a has the, the, the method with the explanation point, but we're not, not going to use it in this example. We need the hash, we still need the hash. Okay, we have race character hash. Now, we can also conditionally delete items inside of hash using the delete if method. Whatever you send into the block, if it returns true, that hash will that hash key will be deleted. Let's go ahead and see that how that works. I'm going to close my screen. This method uses block, so race character. Let's go to that let if. And it uses a block and it takes two arguments. The key and the value. Now we can ask if key equal, equals website. Now it's gonna iterate over each each key value pair and it's gonna ask for each one if the key is a is website deleted. So that's why the method is called delete if. So let's see how it works. It should delete the 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 key, this key that is because we have one of the keys with this with this one with this string. So let's see what happens. Well, now if we take a look again to Rails Canada, the Rails Karate. Now it only has one key value pair, one item. So it deleted the value with the key website because of the condition inside of the block. And that's the basic stuff about working with hashes. In a, our next se lesson, we'll be talking about iteration in hashes. As always, follow me on Twitter and Bas as Bastiumlandia. Follow us Race Karate on Twitter too. Follow us on Facebook as Race Karate. Always keep an eye on racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video. And thanks for subscribing to our channel. See you next time.